how to add slider in Wix Studio. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can add a slider within Wix Studio. It is very easy and very simple. Now the first thing that you need to do is to go ahead to your uh, website or your account within Wix.com then you can uh, go ahead and uh, migrate or transfer the Wix to a Wix Studio. As you can see here we have a website created or built on Wix Studio. We are going to select it and it will open up the Wix Studio right away. Now let's go ahead right here to the Wix Studio. Here we have it. Then simply I am going to edit the website. Click on edit the website and here we go. Now for this tutorial we are going to use the help of Canva and also we are going to get the help of Cloud Convert, which will help us to convert the PNG files to web pictures. Now we are going to simply get and modify some images or get some images, but before that we have to get the right sizing from the Wix uh, website. Now we have our Wix Studio website ready. The first thing that we need to do here is to add something or add an element right here. Simply I am going to add a section. Here we have the sections that we can go ahead right here and add. I'm going simply to add a, uh, let's say that I'm going to add a blank section or you can go ahead right there and select a space which is a convenient or more convenient in our case. Then we are going to add that section or that specific section. For example here I'm going to add between those two spaces. Here we have the section, it is an empty section. You can go ahead and choose a starting point, you can choose a grid layout or add an element. You can also add a design section. I highly recommend you to use the multi uh, or the grid layout to add multi uh, sliding pages. For example, I'm going to add this. Here we have the uh, layout tools, you can go and add something like that. Let's say that we are going to add this uh, section, it will go ahead right here and add uh, these uh, three sections or these three cells. Now on these sections we are going to add an element and within this element we are going to choose media. For the media simply go to pro galleries and then we are going to select a image slider. This is the image slider or this one. I'm going to choose this one for example. Simply I will wait for it to load up and it will be added right here. I think we are going to see here where it is going to be and here we have it. And also in the place of the uh, element that we have you can go ahead and add directly from the elements, select layout tools we have here slideshow repeaters. I'm going to choose for example one of these slideshows like that one. I'm going to click on it and it will be getting right here. I'm going simply to resize it and here we have it. This is the resize of that. Let's see here we are going to make it a little bit smaller. This is a containing two images I think. Yes it is. I'm going simply to make this item a little bit smaller and here we have it. I'm going to simply to check out this other page which is right here. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller also and for this one you can go ahead and make it like that. For example here we have the slideshow. I'm going to select the media right here put it like that and the text here for this photo I'm going to put it here to cover all the images or all the gaps. I'm going to make it a little bit from here and that here. Go right there and put it right here. Or you can go ahead and delete that one and only let this image like that. For example. Now. Let's say that we have everything right here set up. I'm going simply to click on layers. When you click on layers, you will see here the 
the item, which is the navigation or the slideshow. Here we have the slideshow. We have three items. The first one has this image. The second one has this image. And the third one, which is uh, the current uh, image, is this one. Simply, you are going to put the images or you can go ahead and modify the images. I'm going simply to exit this and change the image. You can go ahead and upload the, some media, but I highly recommend you to choose Canva. And I am simply going to get the uh, width and the height of that image because it is, uh, as you can see, suitable for this case. We have the width of 891 by 411. So we are going to Canva, the concrete design, custom size, the width is 891 by the height of 411. Create a design and it will pop up the designer right here. Simply we are going to create some images or upload some images that we have already on Canva. Then we can go ahead and put them right away. For example, this image I have created using Canva, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and stretch it a little bit like that. Here we have it. This is the first image. I'm going to add multiple images. So we are not going to use this, um, this website a lot. So this one also make it a little bit bigger, put it like this. Here we have it. Boom. And for the third image, let's say that we are going to use this, for example, and with mixed with this one also. Like that. Make it right here. A little bit width like that. And here we have it. This is it. Those are the three images that we are going to add. We are going simply to click on share on each image or we are going to download them individually. For example, the first one, I'm going to download it. Here, I will wait for the download. I'm going to download the second one. Deselect everything, only set the page that you are going to download. And finally, the third one. Download, select all the pages, deselect them and select only the third one, download. Now, let's go to PNG to uh, web picture or cloud convert to here. Select file. I am simply going to search for the uh, images that we have downloaded. I'm going to put uh, each one individually. Here we have it. Convert to, make sure to put web P. Convert. It is uploading. You may be demanding or asking for why we are going to transform the images to web pictures. Why? Simply because the web pictures will preserve the quality and will take a little space. So, for example, if you have a image that uh, size, uh, for example, one megabytes, it will be uh, a minimum to, for example, Let's say that it is. it will be 100 kilobytes. This is it. I'm going to convert the second one, add the third image right here, open. I'm going to download this and the third one, convert. Also, I will take it right here. Simply wait for the process, download again, and here we have it. Now, I have finished with Canva. Let's go to Wix Studio. Click on layers and here we have the items. The images, I'm going to uh, replace each image. Here we have this one, change image. Simply click on upload media, upload from computer and here we have the images. You have to select the, as you can see here, we have the file here, PNG. As you can see, the size is 508 and the uh, HTML or the web page or the web picture is set to 36 kilobyte. I'm going to select all of the images or 
each one individually and it is 37 kilobyte only that sees why you are going to use that update and here we have the first image go back also to the layers select the second um, image for example this is the slider and here we have the second image go ahead and double click on it you can go ahead and uh, copy or make that image so we are going to simply click on item here we have the image change image upload from computer select the uh, web page here here we have 22 kilobytes or 23 kilobytes you can see here how light it is to add these images i'm going to add the last image which is this one i think yes it is i'm going to up update the second row one first click on update and here we have it and for the third one click on layers again get that first image click on item it will show up the image close this window click on the image change image and here we have it update and boom for the writing right here you can set it wherever you want you can edit that text for example edit it and here we have the text and also you can go ahead and put the color of that text to blue this is the blue one and here we have it now you can go ahead and customize this one you can add some media and here we have the navigation button the next and previous button you can have some settings to it for example here we have the icon only you can put text only for example you can add two text here next this is the here we can put nothing or icon or text and icon here we have it and then we are going to be good to go you can add multiple layers or multiple here layout tool for the slideshow repeaters and it will be repeating here we have the button the next button you can add some cells also to the right to the to the top to the left to the bottom as much as you like you can fully customize this and when you finish everything click on publish and you will be good to go that was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.